Okay, so here we have the Dangby D-Box O2, or as some people are calling it, the Mars Pro 2, which is the world's first Google TV 4K laser projector with licensed Netflix. Now, if that sounds familiar, we also had the world's first Google TV 1080p laser projector, which was the Atom. We love that, but this is a true flagship model here, the D-Box O2. Real quickly, before we get into all the features, let's take it out of the box. Very nice designed box, very cool looking projector itself. I really like the style of this. It has a very nice glossy looking finish, which gives us a couple of nice pieces of plastic to peel, which is always satisfying. And inside the box, besides the projector, you also have the power supply, of course. You have a pretty basic remote. And then all that's left in the box is the instruction manual and a microfiber cloth to make sure that glossy finish stays clean. In addition to the actual unit itself, Dangby had sent us this fantastic swivel stand. Now, this does not come included with this unit. You have to buy it separately, but I would consider purchasing it because it makes it a very dynamic unit. So this is a metal stand with rubber on the bottom and it's very easy to install. It just comes in two pieces and has its own screws. Pop them all together. It's very easy to connect the actual Mars Pro 2 to the bottom and connect it with that quarter inch screw. But once you have it all together, you realize very quickly that it's a very dynamic stand and allows you to project up onto the ceiling or down, left, right. And even with this stand included, it's still very comparable to other projectors while still being brighter. And you know, we'll get into buying advice in just a second. Now let's talk about some of the important features of the D-Box O2, which are that this is a 4K resolution up to 200 inches. Now Dangby recommends that you use this anywhere from 80 inches up to 120 inches for max brightness and just sharpness. And I concur with that. We used it on two different 120 inch screens in a really bright room and a really dark room room and it looked fantastic in both instances. And the reason for that is because it has advanced laser phosphor display technology. I mean, obviously that's going to look better, right? No, seriously, it, it means that you're not going to have speckles. You're going to avoid color fringing and the colors are going to look more realistic. It has 2,450 isolumens, which is very bright for a projector of this size and for this price point. And after setting this up in the office and spending some time with this unit, it's true. It's very bright. The colors look fantastic. I have yet to see any color fringing or speckles. Now to go over a couple of technical specs, it does have 4K HDR10+, and it supports HLG. It does have MEMC technology for motion smoothing. We'll talk about that in a second. And there are dual 12 watt speakers. It's Dolby Audio compatible and has DTSX sound. And on the back, you have all sorts of great connectivity. You have two USB ports, two 2.1 HDMI ports, and one of them is the eARC. So you're able to connect it to your sound bar or sound system. You have a LAM port, you have audio at 3.5 millimeter, and there's an optical audio output. It also supports Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.2. But, you know, I kind of jumped the gun there. I wanted to show you some of that cool content, but we did set it up in the office and use the auto keystoning, auto focusing, and the auto screen fit to make sure that it would fit nicely here in this 120 inch ALR screen. So great features to have as well and made it really easy to get it in here and set up quickly. And once we were set up, we were able to get into the Google TV operating system and show you some of the features. So first off, you're going to have all the apps that you're used to. So YouTube, Prime Video, Disney Plus, Hulu, and of course, licensed Netflix. So you have all kinds of apps and connectivity with the Google TV platform. One of my favorite operating systems, we use it on a lot of different TVs, so I'm glad that Dangby has this. You have 700,000 plus movies and TV shows, and if you're using Google on other devices or TVs, you're able to pick up where you left off in a different room and a different device, which is fantastic because with kids, I never sit too long in one place, so I'm always starting a movie in one room and finishing it in another. And just in case you guys really want to cut the cord, it does have some free TV channels on Google TV, but we typically use YouTube TV just for consistency. So let's get into that and show you guys some content. Now I'm a big sports fan and it's about to be football season or as some of you guys would call it, American football season, which is fair, I'm good with that. But I'll be honest, this D-Box O2 looks as good in this room as anything that we've had before. With the lights off, it's extremely bright to a point it's almost too bright in here. I can't believe it's 120 inches and looks this good. Colorful, the motion looks good, the upscaling looks fantastic. And this is even on a 720p source. So imagine this, 720 up to 120 inches looking this sharp from a product at this price point. I'm really liking this so far. 
Now getting into HDR movies, that's a whole other treat because I would compare this to being in a movie theater. And to be honest, this is far larger and far brighter than I would expect at a movie theater when I'm sitting this distance away. And that's assuming that you have a consistent movie theater because normally when you go out, you know, this movie theater might be good or that one's not so great. Here, consistent 120 inch screen in my office and it looks fantastic no matter what I'm playing. Whether it's this Guardians of the Galaxy movie or Avatar or Luca, all the different movies that we typically test on TVs looks fantastic in the office. Now the Dangby D-Box O2 has HDR 10 plus and it supports HLG as we talked about before. And that means that it does not have Dolby Vision. However, all the movies I just mentioned still look fantastic in here. And we know other brands may or may not have Dolby Vision, but I don't think it's something that I would typically say is a reason to buy or not to buy something. I think that this looks fantastic in here. And the only real complaint that I have with regards to watching movies is the MEMC or the motion enhancing or the motion compensation. Now the projector came with it on medium, but it looked a little bit too smooth for us. To be honest, it was a little dizzying. So we just decided to turn that off. And to be honest, it looks fantastic. And I've always said that if you can turn all the motion compensation off on a TV or projector and the image looks fantastic, it doesn't have too much judder for you, then you're in a good spot. So I think you'll be set whether you want no motion smoothing or if you do like that soap opera effect and anywhere in between, you're set with the Dangby D-Box O2. And I almost forgot, if you enjoy 3D movies, this is 3D capable. It has active 3D and it also works with 3D Blu-rays, which is something that it didn't have before, but there was a firmware update we downloaded. So another great feature to have. And then quick before we get into the buying advice, gaming. This does look fantastic when it comes to gaming. You're able to game in 4K60. It does have a game mode to make it even a little bit more responsive. And to be honest, it looks really great. Again, bright, colorful, immersive screen size, of course, with the projector. And in some instances where we've had projectors that don't game that smoothly, this is a breath of fresh air and looks really good overall. And the Dangby Mars Pro 2, again, it has two HDMI ports. One can be used as an ARC eARC to connect to a soundbar, and you still have another one, HDMI 2.1, that connect to a game console like this. So now all I really have left to do is consider the buying advice, should you guys get the Dangby D-Box O2 or not? So let's think about it from this perspective. What's the alternatives? I think you have other projectors like this. You maybe have a TV to consider or you may have an ultra short throw projector. First off, let's not consider this against a TV because it's so much bigger. You're able to project this up onto a 200 inch screen size. Realistically, we have this on a 120 inch screen size and it's so much bigger and better than anything you're gonna get at the 120 inch size or really isn't anything. So even a hundred inch, you're gonna be paying more than you would be paying for this projector and the stand combined. So then if you're taking this versus other projectors, you have to consider that this has the ALPD technology. So you're going to have no speckles, no color fringing, realistic colors, and it's eco-friendly and energy saving. So this projector has 30,000 hours of laser light lifespan. Now that's typically about 10x what you'd get with the lamp projectors. And it's also more energy efficient. So you're going to be using about 50% less than a lamp projector. So those are two key features to consider when comparing this versus another product. And if you consider whether or not you should get the stand included with this. We've actually had a couple different projectors that are very similar to this, some with stands and some without. And to be honest, none of them are as bright as this and the price points are very similar. And even if you add this stand in to make it more dynamic, to be able to turn it left and right, to project up on the ceiling, to basically give you that mobility, the price point is still under other units that we've compared in the house. Not to mention that this is also the first Google TV 4K laser projector too with licensed Netflix. So you have a lot of great features here. You have the Google TV, you have the swivel stand option if you wanna buy it separately, the ability to move it up and down. So it's a very dynamic unit. And again, the price point's very great. And then lastly, if you're comparing it to an ultra short throw projector, I would consider the mobility versus what you're getting for the price point because this is a lot less expensive than most ultra short throw projectors, but those just have to be fit in a certain area, right? So you put that below your screen and you may have a little bit of flexibility, but not like you have with the D-Box O2. I mean, this can be moved anywhere in your house at any point and put back really quickly 
and you can auto keystone and auto fit to the screen. So a lot of great benefits from having this project out and still have mobility where an ultra short throw doesn't have. In addition, the price point of ultra short throw projectors is a lot higher. So, you know, if you're looking for a flagship unit that's as bright as this Dangby product, you're gonna be paying like 2X the price. And so I think that really makes the Dangby D-Box 02 a very great medium of price point, brightness, mobility, flexibility. It has all kinds of great features that you want and you're still able to take it anywhere you wanna go, outside, inside, on a large screen up to 200 inch against a white wall, anywhere in the house. And so you can tell I'm a big fan of the Dangby D-Box 02. If you guys wanna check this out for yourself, look at the links in the description below. Make sure to ask any questions or comment below. I'm interested in the feedback. And of course, a big shout out to Dangby for sending the D-Box 02 to us. Have a great day. We'll see you guys in the next video.